All right, Chris P here with Lunge and Layers. I got the original designer of the 22 short, uh, Chad Harbin, with me. Uh, we spent the last two days out here in Ohio, kind of doing some field testing. Uh, got some got some new molds in, and and part of the deal is when when I when Chad and I originally talked about um, me taking over the manufacturing for him, I told him first and foremost I want to make sure that we put out a quality product. I don't want to put anything with my name on it or his name on it that didn't didn't perform to the to his expectations. So. Uh, as soon as I got my hands on them, uh, my wife and I, Carrie, we drove down here and spent the last couple days getting them dialed in. Uh, we found one that was working for us yesterday, and we went back to the shop and put a bunch of them together and and put a few paint jobs. These are some of Chad's old paint jobs. We just painted them up and decided to put them in, in some fish's faces today. Yes, we did. <laughs> Out here at West Branch, had a pretty good day. Uh, we went three for four, uh, so it was pretty fun. We all got to reel on some fish. and. Uh, the bait stayed consistent and that was big. Uh, that's what we're shooting for. Uh, it was great fishing, uh, great time. Only got half a day, wish we could have spent a little bit more time together, but it was not, really nice meeting. Probably would have put yeah. more in the boat. <laughs> yeah, we probably would have put more in the boat for sure. So. Yeah, one thing when I talked to Chad was, um, I asked him, you know, when, when, when we were talking about the baits originally, I said, you know, if you couldn't make some improvements to the baits, what would they be? And, and uh, Chad was making them all by hand, so he, he said consistency was one of the things that, that he was hoping Absolutely. to achieve with 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 a, like a high ejection and plastic molding. And uh, I think we nailed it. Absolutely. So and with the PVC, it was real tough to get consistency out of it. Every one would run just a touch different, but you know almost the same, but a touch different. Uh, with the sanding process and everything like that, it's just uncontrollable sometimes. The density of the the material that you're using and the high impact plastics, the way to go. So uh, hopefully we'll have these out by the uh, 2016 Chicago Muskie Show. Uh, we got we got some some painting to do and, and a lot of lures to make, but uh, appreciate you taking the time.